By small and simple things are great things brought to pass. Consider the scripture study we've been taught to incorporate into our daily lives. Or consider the personal prayers and the kneeling family prayers that are regular practices for faithful Latter-day Saints. Consider attendance at seminary for youth or institute classes for young adults. Though each of these practices may seem to be small and simple, over time they result in powerful spiritual uplift and growth. This occurs because each of these small and simple things invites the companionship of the Holy Ghost. Another source of spiritual uplift and growth is an ongoing practice of repenting, even of seemingly small transgressions. Our own inspired self-evaluations can help us see how we have fallen short and how we can do better. Such repentance should precede our weekly partaking of the sacrament. Have I done any good in the world today? Have I helped anyone in need? Have I cheered up the sad and feel, helped someone feel glad? If not, I have failed indeed. Has anyone's burden been lighter today because I was willing to share? Have the sick and the weary been helped on their way? When they needed my help, was I there? Surely these are small things, but surely they are good examples of what Alma taught his son Helaman. And the Lord God doth work by means to bring about his great and eternal purposes. And by very small means, the Lord bringeth about the salvation of many souls. Another seemingly small and simple thing is being civil and cheerful in our personal interactions. None of these desirable small and simple things will lift us to great things unless they are practiced consistently and continuously. We are surrounded by media influences and cultural deteriorations that will carry us downstream in our values if we are not continually resisting. To move upstream toward our eternal goal, we must constantly keep paddling. It helps if we're part of a team who are paddling together, like a rowing crew in action. To extend that example even further, the cultural currents are so strong that if we ever stop paddling, we will be carried downstream toward a destination we do not seek, but which becomes inevitable if we do not constantly try to move forward. Similarly, even small acts of disobedience or minor failures to follow righteous practices can draw us down toward an outcome we have been warned to avoid. One thing is certain, the terrible consequences of partaking of anything that can become addictive, like drugs that attack our bodies or pornographic material that degrades our thoughts, is totally avoidable if we never partake for the first time, even once. I believe we all desire to follow President Russell M. Nelson's challenge to press forward on the covenant path. Our commitment to do so is strengthened by consistently following the small things we are taught by the gospel of Jesus Christ and the leaders of his church. I testify of him and invoke his blessings on all who seek to keep on his covenant path. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
Amen.